some words mean different things to people. When, when Paul talks about the grace of God, what comes to your mind here? Because it's something significant that he was so grateful to God for. He acknowledged that it existed in the church of Corinth. Okay, let me say, let me put it this way. I want to talk to you about the grace of God. Of course, the grace of God has many faces. It has many sides, many dimensions. But I'll only capture the, the dimension that Paul speaks of in this place. And the fact that he was grateful to God, that he was giving thanks to God concerning the grace of God, which had been given the church, then we need to also think about it and find out that what is this that Paul was thanking God for. Amen. 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 The grace of God, it means so many things. Only so But grace basically means the kindness of God. It means the goodness of God. Grace means the unmerited favor of God. Amen. Amen. It is God's inclination towards someone to do them good. When God is disposed to do you good. When God feels like he wants to bless you and blesses you. When God wants to do you good, the grace of God is a good thing. Amen. 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 It's, when you see it as the heart of God, it means God thinking about thinking good things about you. When you see grace in action, it's God doing you good. Amen. And I want to Amen. look at you in these minutes. Amen. God's going to do you good. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In these minutes, Amen. God's going to give you his grace. Amen. 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 God's going to show you his goodness. Amen. God's going to bless your life. Amen. God's going to touch your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it is, it is one of the things Christ wants to do. To touch you. Amen. Amen. To rub on your life. With his favor with his power with his goodness amen, amen. amen. Lord you say Lord touch my life amen. say Lord bless my life say, Lord grace my life amen. hallelujah amen. you know in English the opposite of grace is disgrace <laughs> the opposite of grace is disgrace if you are disgraced, it means you are put to shame. But if God graces you, it means it's going gonna, it's gonna to highlight your life. It's going to lift your life. It's going to bless your life. It's going to turn your life around. Amen. 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 So, you know, the Bible says every good gift. And every perfect gift comes from above. 
Obiro ko amalo. From the Father of Lights. Ko ay wunwa maenler. God is a giver of good things. Nasachwa ende chiu magik mabe. God is a giver of good gifts. Nasachwa ende chiu wakumik mabe. And I have a feeling that God has good things for you today. Kedar niya niya sa. You that have come in this service. Jam obiro e service ni. In this conference. E chokruogani. God's gonna touch your life. Nasachwa ende chiu magik mabe. God's gonna feel your life. Nasachwa ende chiu God's gonna give you new grace. God's gonna bless your life. Something good is coming your way. Goodness and mercy is coming. Grace and mercy is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grace is a good thing. Praise the Lord. Grace is a good thing. And to know that it is so good. Paul says, I always give thanks concerning you. Every day I give thanks for you. Why? For the grace of God, which was given to you by Christ Jesus. I don't think if Pastor Grace gives me his suit, as a gift to me, I'll be happy. I'll be excited. And I'll give him thanks. But you know what? I won't, I won't give him thanks every day. No, 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 no. I'll say thank you for that time and it's done. Yeah. 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 It will be done. <laughs> but for example, if you gave me land, you see now, if he gave me land, I'll be forced to give thanks every now and then. You know why? Because of the value of what was given to me. You see, the value of what has been given to you will determine how grateful you are. If I give you 10 bobs or 100 bobs. Amen. Yes, you appreciate me. But if I give you a million Kenya shillings, you will never forget me. You will never forget me. You will never forget me. You will be forever thankful. So when Apostle Paul says, I always give thanks. I always give thanks concerning you for the grace of God. God, that was given you by Christ Jesus. It means this grace of God that was given to these people was not a cheap thing. Amen. Amen. It wasn't a cheap thing. Thing. It was so valuable. It was a determinant. What was given to them? It was a life changer. It was something that brings meaning to life. It, it was something that brings color in somebody's life. It was a beautifier. A story changer. It was a beautiful thing that was given to them. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 You know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to appetize you to have an appetite for this grace of God. Because when it comes into your life, it changes everything about you. Hallelujah. 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 And I want to announce to you this grace of God is coming. God is going to put his hand on you. He's going to rub his grace on you. And it will change your life. It will cause you to grow very fast. It will make you to be admired by many. It will ease your life. It's called the grace of God. Amen. 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 Okay, lift up both of your hands. Say, I will come. To the grace of God. In my life. Say, Lord. Power your grace. Power your grace. In my life.